And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. We got into temperatures just a little bit above the average for this time of year. Upper 50s and lower 60s, a little cooler along the lakeshore, but overall a nice start to the weekend. But we are tracking a little bit of some cooler weather, especially as we get into the later part of the month. So let's enjoy some of these last uh, few days of some 60s that we have in store here because we're seeing some 40s and uh, some 50 lower 50s on the horizon. But main time, rain time, I should say right now we're tracking that rainfall moving up to the north. Northeast, a cold front right now propagating to the east, and that's why we got that rain associated with it. Tomorrow for your Packers game, it's going to be a beautiful day. We've got high pressure, but then on Monday, this storm system right now over the Rockies, that is going to be bringing in some pretty steady rains and also a chance of some embedded thunderstorms. Here's a closer look showing the radar across northeast Wisconsin. Most of the rainfall has been off towards the west of the Fox Valley, but it's slowly creeping eastward, and it will be interacting with some dry air right now. So not out Everyone is seeing the rain east of I-41, but we do have the potential for a few sprinkles on and off for the remainder of the evening. Here we are at 9 o'clock. The rainfall really starting to diminish. We're just pretty much left over with some cloud cover, a few sprinkles as we get towards midnight along the lake shore. And then afterwards, we start to clear out. However, with that rainfall that comes in tonight, with temperatures cooling down and clearing skies, it does appear some patchy fog will be developing. It could be pretty dense. Some of our projections are showing under a quarter, even a fraction of a mile. So just a heads up for anyone who's leaving early tomorrow morning to get to Lambeau Field, driving up north could be dealing with some low visibilities by the late morning hours that should start to clear out and we will be seeing some plenty of sunshine so that sun will help erode it. Then afterwards plenty of beautiful skies temperatures once again in the upper 50s low 60s but then we cool down and uh, see also an increase in cloud cover and by Monday morning comes another round of heavy rainfall and this could bring in some pretty impressive totals. It uh, looks like another soaker could be on the way by Monday night. We could be seeing maybe between one and uh, two inches of rain. So it's going to be a good wet start to the week. We've got 57 right now, 55 in Acanto, 51 in Clintonville. It is 48 in Anago and 54 in Sheboygan. Winds coming in right now out of the west and southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Pretty variable coming in straight out of the south right now. So you see where that cold front is right at uh, this time just east of I-41 near the Highway 43 corridor. And those winds will start to uh, subside out of the west at about 5 miles per hour tonight. Patchy fog possible, 42 for an overnight low. And then we do warm up to 61 once again for your Sunday. 59 on Monday. And then after that cold front comes through, temperatures will be steadily falling into the upper 40s by Tuesday, getting upwards of upper 40s, low 50s by the end of the work week. At least it's the 50s and 60s. I have no complaints with that. Just I'll don't drop that. anything yeah. below 50. Hopefully. Okay, I'll try and All do right? my best, but okay. no problems. He said so. Thanks, Gino. Well, coming up next year, well, getting paid to watch Disney movies doesn't sound too terrible. How you can be a part of all that fun. Plus, Halloween just around the corner with candy tops, the charts of America's favorites.